this is our topic 11 assessment for second grade. What I'd like for you to do is do the whole assessment and then come back and check your answers on uh, this video. So let's go and start with our first one. Which equals 100 less, that means subtracting, than 763? So 763 minus 100. So let's just go ahead and solve that real fast. 3 minus 0 is 3. 6 minus 0 is 6, and 7 minus 1 is 6. This is also a great one to do mentally in your head. So we know the answer is 663. But it says on here, choose all that apply. So let's take a look at what else might be equal to 663. Well, we've got 600 plus 60 plus 3. That's definitely equal to 663. 863, nope, not the same. 800, nope, not at all. Okay, let's take a look at number 2. The open number line below shows subtraction. Complete the equation, write the numbers being subtracted, and the difference. So we need to take a look at what we are subtracting. So we're going to start with the larger number first. It's 587. And then let's see what we're subtracting. 100, 110, 120, 123. Minus 123. So let's take a look at the number line if it's done properly. Um, this is 467, 66, 65. So the next one would be 464. 464, okay? Number three, is the difference equal to 462? Choose yes or no, use different strategies to subtract. So you're gonna go through and see which ones are equal. Which ones equal 400? and 62 okay and you can do whatever strategies you would like to to subtract but we know this one is equal to 462 this one is equal to 462 this one is not and the bottom one is and again you may do it any strategies that you'd like to Number four, there are 537 boys and 438 girls at the concert. How many more boys than girls are at the concert? So we're going to need to subtract this to find the difference. 437 minus 537 minus 438. Okay, so we're going to go through and subtract that one out. 7 minus 8 isn't going to work, so it's going to become 17, and that will be 2 because we have to regroup. 17 minus 8 is 9. 2 minus 3 is not going to work, so we're going to have to regroup again. 12 minus 3 is 9. 4 minus 4 is 0. So we know that 99 is going to be our answer. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. Okay. Show how to add up on an open number line to find 740 minus 490. So we're gonna add up. So we're gonna start at 490. And we need to add up to 740. So let's do some hops by 100 first. Plus 100 will get us to 590. Uh, we can still go, uh, let's see. Uh, we can go up to 690 yet. Let's add another 100. That gets us to 690. We can't add another 100 because that would be too much. But let's start going by tens because we need to get to 740. So 690 plus 10 is 700. And then if I just take a look at this, I can tell that 700 plus 40 is going to be 740. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these. 200 plus 10 plus 40 is gonna be 250. Okay, number six, look at your work in item five. Why can you use adding up on an open number line to find 740 um, minus 490? So this is exactly what we did here. So we know that you can always add up to subtract on an open number line. You can't always add up to subtract on an open number line. Well, we can. We can always add up. Uh, an open number line helps you break apart numbers to subtract. Exactly, because that's what we're doing is breaking apart numbers. An open number line should be used for any type of problem. Well, that's just personal preference. If you'd like to use it, you can, but you don't have to. 
Okay, let's look at number seven. Use the numbers on the cards to find the missing numbers in the subtraction problem. Use the place value models to help you find the missing numbers, okay? So we know that 14, we already know right off the bat, this is being regrouped. So 14 minus seven, we know is seven. This over here has not been regrouped yet. This seven has been crossed out, but we know it's gonna be one less. So we know that's gonna be a six. Six minus five is one. Now we have just two left. Three minus one is two. Great job. Okay, let's take a look over here at our next. All right, this is our topic 11 performance assessment for second grade. These are a little bit trickier because there are a lot of uh, word problems. So we're gonna go through and kind of do this together. The chart shows the number of beads sold at Betty's craft store for four weeks. So week one, it tells us how many beads, week two, week three, and week four, okay? How many more beads did Betty sell in week two than in week one? So week two, we have 536. So 536 minus week one was 400. 400. Now this one, we can do mental math on this one because if we take a look at... It, we're doing by 400, so we know six minus zero is six, three minus zero is three, and five minus four is one, so 136 beads, but you can also stack it if you would like to. Okay, we're gonna take a look at this open number line for number two. It says 458 glass beads were sold in week three. The other beads sold in week three were plastic. How many plastic beads were sold in week three? So week three, we know there's 675, but 458 are glass and the others are plastic. So I'm actually gonna start at 458 because we know we have 458 glass beads. And my goal now, my goal is to get to 675. Sorry, my six looks a little funny there. Uh, so, so I'm going to start off here and I'm going to try and see how many hops I need to jump to get to 675. So I have 458. I'm going to do a hop of 100 plus 100 puts me at 558. And then I'm going to do another hop of 100. That puts me at 658. Now I can't do another hop of 100 because that'd be at 758 and I'm just trying to get to 675. So I'm gonna do two small hops here. One, two, plus one, plus one, to get me to 660, okay? Now my goal is 675. So I'm at 660, I can do a hop of 10, plus 10 puts me at 670, and then a hop of plus five, puts me at 675. So what I want to know is my total is 675 minus um, 458. Uh, sorry, 500, 458. Now we're going to do our hops here. 100, 200, 210, 215, 216, 217, 217. And then it says, explain how you solve the problem. Tell how you know your answer is correct. Um, you can say, I count it up on the open number line. And then it wants to know how you know the answer is correct. You can say, I uh, counted my hops and added them together. Excellent job. Okay, let's go ahead and flip over to the back side of our performance assessment here. Okay. Uh, Dex buys 243 beads at Betty's store. He uses 118 of them to make a bracelet. How many beads does Dex have left? Solve the problem. So we have 243 beads he uses 118 of them. He's not getting more, he's actually using them. So we know that's gonna be subtraction, okay? So our equation is gonna be 243 minus 118. And then we're just gonna go through and solve it. Three minus eight, three minus eight is not gonna work. So we're gonna to have to regroup. Taking a group of tens, unbundling it becomes 13, 
and this becomes 3. 13 minus 8 is 5. 3 minus 1 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1, so we have 125. So 125 beats is what Dex has left. Okay, let's go over to number four. This one has a lot of a lot of steps to it. So actually, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay, Ginny buys 958 beads. That's her total. 245 beads are blue. 309 beads are orange. 153 beads are white. The rest are red. How many red beads does Ginny buy? So it's asking, what is the hidden question in the problem? Uh, the hidden question is, um, what is the total of the blue, orange, and white beads? Of the blue, orange, and white beads, okay? So what we need to do is find the total of those and that will let us know how many red are left. So our total is 958 and we're gonna subtract first our blue beads, minus 245. So eight minus five is three, five minus four is one, nine minus two is seven, okay? So we did our blue beads, I'm gonna cross that one out. Now let's do our orange beads. Minus 309 beads are orange. Oops. Okay. All right, so 3 minus 9 is not going to work. So we'd have to take a group of 10 over. That becomes 13. 1 minus 1 is 0. 13 minus 9 is 4. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 7 minus 4, uh, 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, so now we did our orange beads. Now we need to subtract those white beads. I'm just gonna bring this over here. 404 is our total, minus 153 white beads. I'm gonna cross that out. Four minus three is one. Zero minus five is not gonna work, so we're gonna take a group of 10 over. 10 minus five is five, and three minus one is two. So we know that there are 251 red beads. Great job, everybody.